Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Shigami One. So, what I'm going to talk about is Pokemon. So, the next generation of Pokemon, which is going to be rough releasing roughly around December or later next year. So, basically, Pokemon from Generation 1, which it was in Generation 2. So, let's start with the list with Crobat. Crobat is basically Subat, which evolves to a Golbat. Subat doesn't require candy, of course. The next one is 50 candy from Crobat. Crobat, I'm going to estimate, is going to be. Roughly around 100 candy, most likely, but I'm not actually going to sure, so it could be 150. It is a poison flying type, it's quite a strong Pokemon. So, and the CP of the Gold Bats around 1200 max, it might go up to 2500 or something like that. The next Pokemon on the list is a Polytoad, it's called from a Poliwar, and Poliwar is called from Poliwag. So, they're basically a Poliwar, a Polytag, or Poliwar. It's roughly 25 candy, then the polyrath it's 100 candy, so it's going to be like 100 candy for a polytoad, or it could be higher. This Pokemon uses the King's Rocks to evolve when it's traded, so it's going to be roughly 100 candy, or it could be more. There might be a chance of it evolving to a polyrath or a polytoad, so start getting candy for that and save up. The next one on the list, Blissey. I don't know if I pronounced it wrong, don't get the picture. So let's go on. It was from a Shanty with in the game it was when it's leveled up with high friendship. So basically collecting candy with that. Shanty evolves to this. So save up your candy guys. Next one on the list. Basically there's gonna be two from the next list. It is from the Eevee collection. You you can guess it. You must know about this. Yes you know, you know. So it is Espeon, it's a Sun Pokemon, it's the EV. Basically, with high friendship, when it levels up, it evolves during the day or morning. With or when it's around the sunshine. It is a psychic Pokemon, so if you don't have any psychic Pokemon like Alakazam, make sure you have enough candy for this. I'm assuming it's gonna be like 25 candy for this. So, you don't need to worry that much. So you can evolve it to a Espeon. So next one, which is my favorite Pokemon of the EV series, you guessed it, you know it, it's Umbreon, it's the Moonlight Pokemon. It is beautiful black and yellow, oh, so nice, the dark type as well. So it's also with friendship during the night, or around the moonshot. It is a dark type Pokemon, it is part of the EV series, so I'm guessing this requires 25 candy as well. You might have the factor that you have to evolve it during the night for more chance to get it. So the next one on the list is Polygon 2. So Polygon evolves to Polygon 2 when traded with an upgrade item. So what is going to happen is you just need, I guess you require roughly around, I'm guessing 50 candy. For it to evolve to the next version. So, these are really rare to find. I don't know how you're gonna manage to get this if you're gonna finish the Pokédex. So, good luck, guys. The next one, which I am really excited about, is Kingdra. It is the horsey's final evolved form, which is the Kingdra, which, is, which looks really nice. It's, it's a water and dragon type Pokemon. So, when a Seedra, the second evolved, which requires 50 candy to evolve, is traded it, holding a dragon scale, it evolves to a Kingdra. But there's, since there's no trading, what most likely going to happen is you might require 100 candy or more for the Kingdra. So, remember it's a dragon type, so it's like a Garyos. The next one is the King of Slowpokes. What? King of Slowpokes? Yes, it's the Slow King. Slow King, when traded, becomes a Slow King. It's very intelligent, smart Pokemon, very powerful. And since there's no trading, most likely it's gonna be basically it's a Slow Pope when it was to a Slow King or Slow Bro. So there might be a chance of it, like an egg. When you're hatching an egg, you want to get a random egg, or you want to get a nice one, like from a 10 kilometer egg. It might be like that. So there is a very low chance of me getting a slow king 
from evolving multiple slow parts, or you might require a higher amount of candy. Not sure. My theory is the first option is going to be most likely what's going to happen. Next one is going to be I do like this one, but it's a big fan favorite for a lot of people. So it's going to be Sizzler. Yes, Sizzler. So Sizzler is a most normal slider. When holding a metal coat traded, it evolves to a slider. Slider is a bug and steel type Pokemon. Nice red metal Pokemon. So it will have less weaknesses. It will be weak to most, to weak to fire. And that's it. Everything else will just trash. So it's going to be a good Pokemon. I'm assuming it might, since a slider is a very powerful Pokemon, it might require 100 candy, but let's Leave it at 50 candy, or try to save up your candy for that. Stop evolve, stop powering up the slides you have at the moment. Try to save up your candy. The final one. Final on the list, which I like to see. I want to get, but I don't think I will get it for quite a long time. It's the Steelix. Yes, it's the evolved version of Onyx. When uh, Onyx holds, uh, when holding a metal coat, and it trades, it becomes a Steelix. Steelix, steel and ground type Pokemon. Looks great, looks beautiful, I want to use it. Since the uh, Onyx maximum CP goes up to 867, I guess, uh, it's, which is quite a low po uh, level CP Pokemon, when you see it's a massive Pokemon in the actual game, in the actual TV series, how can it be that low CP? So I was thinking, huh? Next generation, next generation involves. So I thought it has to be the Steelix. So most likely it could be around 2,500 to 2,600, but it could be less or higher. The candy, it might be like 100 candy, or it could be 400 candy, but I'm not saying any. It could be like that, but I'm not sure. So my guess is roughly around 100 candy or 200, but. It's not confirmed because I'm not the developer at all. Oh well, that's what I think of it. Thank you for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See ya.